Hey, welcome. I'm really excited to like be doing this and I'll explain to you why I guess right now. It's been a week or two, I think, since I did any EM Tonky stuff because I did about 15 to 20 videos. I'm looking for new stuff to do. So I was searching and I found this cover of Islands in the Stream. I haven't heard it yet, but this song has a really special place in my heart, which is um, when I was like a little kid, you know, maybe like eight, seven, eight, nine years old, this song would come on the radio in the car with my, and this is before I knew anything about music. Like I didn't do anything. I didn't start playing music at all until I was like 13 or 14. And so growing up, it's just the music you hear with your family is the music you know. So I don't, I don't listen to a lot of country, but back then I did because my parents listened to country, which means I listened to country. And I'd never thought of this song as country, but those are two crazy good artists, uh, Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. And I'm just excited to listen to their version. I'm assuming one of them is gonna do Dolly and the other one's gonna do Kenny, but I don't honestly remember the harmonies enough to know that. Yes, uh, I do know his um, his father is no longer with us, so I thought also it'd be cool to hear them play together again. That's it, really. I want to say more, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to say more. I think we all know what's up. <laughs> I forgot how it hits. Dun, dun, da, 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 uh, uh. Okay, that's already so good. Baby, when I met you, there was peace unknown. I said I could get you with the fine tooth comb. I was soft inside. Hey, there was something, something going on. on. You do something to me that I can't explain. Hold me closer and I feel no pain. Got something going on. Dude, that's so amazing. It's so good. I just, I just, I'm just, I still can't believe that that's his dad singing with him. Bro, I don't know if you love this or not. If you don't love this, I'm sorry for you. You should love this. Sharing love with each other. Uh -uh. Islands in the street. Oh, this was written by the Bee Gees. I'm just remembering now that it was written by the Bee Gees. And when you hear the harmonies, huh, I can't do the, like, the jump up. It's like, oh, when you think about that jump, you're like, oh, that's definitely a Bee Gees song. This was written by the Bee Gees, right? It had to be. My memory can't be that weird. It has to be by the Bee Gees. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Also, shout out to Ian's pink polo. Rock that pink. I got a pink polo. I don't ever wear it because, uh, you know, I'm scared. I'm scared, man. It looks so good on him. Oh, I thought I did the bump, bump, my bad. Inside of the real day. But that won't happen to us, and we got no doubt. Too deep in love, and we got no way out. And the message is clear this could be the year for the real day. No more will you cry, baby, I will hurt you never. We started and is one in love forever. We 
that. Also, if you've never seen the video, I'm sure it's got to be available on YouTube of Kenny and Dolly actually doing it. So I'm hearing like that version with the video and I'm hearing him at the same time and I'm having flashbacks of being the kid in the passenger seat. Where we're we going, we're going wherever the parents say, hey, guess what? Get up. We're going to a doctor's appointment. I'm going to a doctor? No, they're going to a doctor. And as a kid back then, it's like, well, you just go with your parents and you just sit for an hour or two in a waiting room. This would be like on the way there. Oh my God. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. oh, man. I'm glad I didn't cry on it. I think the song is like so happy. If the song had been sad, I'd probably have lost my shit. Man, take time to love people, man. I'm sure you do. I don't. You know what I do? I think about things and I don't do anything. I think, call this person, and then I don't. I think, send them a message, but I don't. So, like, if that's what you do, cool, I understand. I'm the same way, but, like, if you're better than me, and you probably are better than me, make that phone call, man. Make it. Send that text. What's the worst that could happen? 